So I have my kit painted and clear coated. You can tell that it's fairly shiny all over this thing. A clear coat will darken the tone. Um, but right now, what I want to do is I want to add some decals to this kit. This kit didn't come with decals. Um, I don't know what decals this would come with. I have not watched the show. But since this thing is called the Grimori, I figure this decal would work perfect for this. So granted this is off of a Rick Dome uh, decal set. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this out. And actually, I think it says Rick Dome on here. I don't know. I'm just going to trim this out first. And if this doesn't look good, I can always just remove it. Now these de this decal sheet is from a from a fellow in, Japan, in Hong Kong that goes by Samuel Decal. And he has an Alps printer which allows him to print in white. So you trim off some excess. So I have my decal ready. I'm going to dunk it in water a couple of seconds and take it out. Leave it on a sheet of paper. You don't want to dunk this in the water for too long because what it does is it ends up dissolving too much of the adhesive. Now the decals, these are water slide decals, and they're attached to this sheet of paper by means of a uh, light adhesive. Now to get it to slide off the paper, you uh, dip in water. That dissolves the adhesive. Once the adhesive dissolves a little bit, you can start sliding this off the piece of uh, paper backing. Now if you've dissolved too much of, of the decal adhesive you can use a product called Mr. Mark Setter and this product is placed on top of the plastic on on the bottom of the decal so it helps it set the other product is called Mark Softer what this does is this melts the decal so it conforms to the shape of you know uh, the kit if it's not on a flat surface if there's several levels to the to the surface that you're putting the decal on this will help melt the edges and it will conform to that shape so what I also like to use is a q-tip to help me apply things I could wet it just so, so slightly I could use it to pick up the decal and I could test it that it's loose so now my decal is loose I'm gonna put it on this arm piece here the shoulder Pick up my decal carefully. And I get to slide it onto the surface of surface of the part. Now you can see that decal is not really conforming to this or not wanting to stick to the surface very well. So what you could do is add a little bit of water to this and it'll help kind of get it on the surface and you can move it around and absorb some of that excess liquid. Now once you have this in position, what I like to do is I like to take a paper towel and just kind of squeegee some of that water out. We have some wrinkling in here, which hopefully will be taken care of with the decal um, softer. Now that's the issues you have to deal with when you're applying the decals to a curved surface. So I'm going to take this, and this is basically vinegar and water. I think this, um, well, some of the more uh, water-based solutions are, are vinegar and water. I'm not sure what Mr. Mark Softer is. It's a little bit stronger. 
So I'm just going to apply a little bit to the surface, like so. And this will melt the decal film. And sometimes you'll see this wrinkle up. What you don't want to do is touch this so that, because once it dries, the wrinkles will kind of iron themselves out. I'm just going to let this sit and dry. Again, since this isn't, didn't come with any decal sheet, I just picked up some random decals that I have left over. This is for 144 um, New Gundam, or actually Londo Bell set. So I'm going to cut out some of these warning labels because other than the, the insignia, I'm more interested in some of these warning labels. And this is a, a set that came from Bandai. What's nice about this set is I don't have to cut around the decal too much. I can just cut a set out and start sticking them on my kit because uh, they're already pre-cut. Now what I did just now was I took the knife and just kind of cut the edges where it was wrinkling. Now that kind of helps because the decals are even softened. It helps it melt together. And I can just take my Q-tip, my moistened Q-tip, and just kind of mesh those areas together. And those um, wrinkles or those edges that you know kind of folded up uh, kind of disappear a little bit better. Hopefully some of you have noticed that this I'm using Macross decal. Again, this doesn't have any decals that I know of. I've never seen the show. So 
I could do what I feel looks cool. And this Macross decal looks cool. Now I'm wondering if anyone out there knows which kit this was. So what I've done now is I've applied a decal and I've also clear coated my decal. Now I'm using a lacquer based uh, clear coat. What I'm going to do next is uh, panel lines. Now the reason why I clear coat this piece here, especially over the decals, is um, when I go to do the panel lines, I use a lacquer based product and my, my panel lines are done with an enamel based uh, product. So what I, what, what I've learned the hard way is that sometimes the decals will be wiped away if you have a paper towel that has some enamel thinner and it'll just completely destroy the decal. So to pre prevent against that, clear coat this with a lacquer based product that way if I go wipe over this with um, the enamel thinner uh, I won't damage the decal so I'm going to go ahead and mix my wash solution and basically I'm just using uh, Tamiya enamels I'm just going to drop a few drops for my washes, what's nice is you could use different colors. So if, um, for this, I'm just going to go ahead and use black. Sometimes it's a little bit too stark, so I'll go with like a navy blue or a, a really dark blue or a dark gray. But um, for this, I'm just going to use the black. Now, what I'm thinning this with is just some enamel thinner. Put that in there. Mix this up a little bit. And you'll see that it's got this watery consistency to it. What's perfect here is this this will run in the lines very nicely. Now I have a, a brush and I can go ahead and start panel lining. Let's see here. A good example to panel line would pro probably be this piece. So what I do is just load up my brush with some some of the uh, wash solution and just touch the lines. And you'll see that if you have this gloss coat nicely, the lines will just run themselves. I'm not too worried about uh, going over because I'll clean it up with the uh, with the paper towel later on just kind of touching the lines and you see that this line from touching over here it ran all the way over here Now what this panel line does is it kind of accents some of these little detail areas, especially this little camphor mine piece. It's got these um, nice little details all over it that really don't show up unless you apply some panel lines or apply this wash to it. It kind of shows up a lot better. So there we have that. Let's see. 
I'm just gonna let this dry for uh, 10 minutes to maybe an hour to several hours what that allows us to do is the uh, panel lines inside have been able to dry so when I go and take a paper towel with some thinner and wipe off the excess I just wipe off the areas around it and leave the uh, inset areas uh, panel lined and I'll get to that you know, later on in this video So here I have a gun piece that I've painted in a, a fairly dark uh, gun metal. So I also want to highlight some of the panel lines here, but if I use black, no one's going to see anything. So what I'm doing here is I mix a little bit of silver, and I'm just going to panel line this with the silver. And once I clean this up, this should look fairly decent. So these parts have dried for a good several hours, actually. Um, what I'm using is just lighter fluid and a piece of paper towel. Dip my dip some lighter fluid in, in the paper towel, moisten it slightly, and over here I'm just gonna kind of carefully wipe. And you see that I'm wiping the excess away. Now for some of these areas you want to wipe across so you don't take away too much. And even though it's been several hours, this stuff comes right off. You can also employ a Q-tip as well, just to get some of these, you know, hard to get spots, and just slightly rub it, and it picks up all the excess, leaving you with a fairly clean and nicely panel lined piece. And now this is ready for a final clear coat and I'll be done with this.